Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install an SNES emulator onto your PlayStation 2. So as you guys know, RetroArch does not actually have an SNES emulator on it yet. Well, it does for everything else, but it doesn't for the PlayStation 2 version of RetroArch. So we actually have to get an emulator called SNES Station. Now, I actually found a modded version of this, so I will be using that in this video. Apparently, um, it's pretty good for the performance, and it's a bit better than the normal version. So what you guys want to do, make sure you have Freemap Boot installed. doesn't really matter what version make sure you also have a PlayStation 2 USB drive or just a drive you can plug into it. So go and get your PlayStation 2's USB, go and plug this into your computer and I will show you guys what to do from there. So over on your computer, I'll leave a link to the SNES Station mod in the description of this video. Now, I believe this is like the 2016 update. I don't think there's been any more updates since this one. Um, if there is, I will link that in the description instead. But what you guys want to do is just go ahead and just click download now, and it will download the zip file that we need. So there is a screenshot of what it looks like here. Apparently, this is much better than the last um, SNES Station. Obviously, this is the modded version, so it should be a bit better. Um, as you guys know, RetroArch does not support SNES games, so we do have to actually use this emulator if you want to play them on your PlayStation 2. This does also support Super Famicom games as well, of course. So once you guys have got it, just go to your downloads folder and find wherever you downloaded the zip file. And what we're going to do from there, you can just double click on it to view all the files. But what we really want to do is right click and just select extract here. It's then just going to put it into its own file folder. We also need some um, SNES ROMs or Super Famicom ROMs. And once we've got those, we can right click new folder and you can just call it ROMs or something like that. And then we're just going to drag and drop our ROMs in there. So you can add as many ROMs as you want. Then I'm just going to put the ROMs folder inside of this SNES station folder. And then this is what it should look like inside. So we're going to copy this whole folder. We're going to go onto our PlayStation 2's USB drive and we can just paste this on the root of it. So that is literally it for copying across to the USB. Now what we can do is go to on, onto our PlayStation 2 and um, we can actually test this out and see what the gameplay is like. So once we're back onto our PlayStation, so what we have to do is just go and find Launch Elf over on your home screen, and we're just going to press X to go and boot this up. Then we have to press Circle for File Browser. We are looking for our USB. Now our USB will be displayed as Mass. So go down to Mass and press Circle on this. Then we can find the SNES Station file folder, which is right here. So when you highlight that in red, press um, Circle or X to go onto it. And now we just need to find it. So I would recommend using the, um, well, you can pretty much use Eve one. I'm going to choose the compressed version, which is this one right here. So we're going to press Circle to load this up. So it will load just like this, it just shows a quick disclaimer, um, you can just wait for this, it shouldn't really take too long. And now it lets us select our ROM. So as you can see, um, at the top left, we are actually running the mod version right now. So let's go onto our mass and press X. Let's go into the SNES station folder, ROMs folder, press X on that. And here we have Mortal Kombat. So what we can do, we can press X on our ROM and um, it should actually start to load it up. And then here you go, it's loaded up Mortal Kombat. Now I will be testing it out. Last time I made a video on this, it wasn't the modded version. I'm pretty sure the games run okay anyway. But of course we're just going to test it out for this video and see what it performs like. Okay, let's try it around on Mortal Kombat. Um, as I said in many videos, I'm rubbish at all games, but let's just test out some gameplay anyway. I'm the um, purple guy that's probably going to get completely destroyed. Oh, so I actually won that just by like one HP. There you go. So that was kind of interesting. I'm actually going to turn up the sound a bit and just make sure the sound isn't lagging. Now, I don't know if the sound on this is copyrighted or anything. Okay, so the sound is on a little bit and it doesn't seem to be too bad actually. The sound doesn't seem to have any issues with it. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's alright. And um, yeah, this is actually running better than last time. In the last video, I think I played... Uh, Super Mario World and that was actually kind of glitchy to be fair. It did actually have a few glitches. This is completely playable um, And yeah, it's actually running completely fine 
Now also with this emulator you can press triangle and you can go into the options, you can change the sound, um, you can change pretty much lots of different things in here, even calibrate the screen and stuff like that. Um, you can also press um, square for the credits, you can press circle um, just to like go back on stuff and um, yeah it's pretty much it. So pretty simple emulator but it's pretty cool. So if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.